This video will help you name branch alkanes by using the rules mentioned above. The first step is to identify the parent chain. In this example, the parent chain is made of seven carbon atoms, so the parent name is heptane. The next step is to identify the substituents present in the structure. This alkane contains two alkyl substituents, an ethyl and a methyl group directly attached to the parent chain. The third step is to assign locations to the substituents. To do this, the parent chain needs to be numbered in the direction that will give the first substituent the lowest locant. In this particular example, numbering the parent chain from left to right or from right to left will give both the ethyl and the methyl group the same locant, carbon number four. The fourth step is naming the compound. The name of the parent is the last piece of the name. Substituents and their numerical location will precede the parent name. The fifth and the last step reminds us that substituents are listed in alphabetical order. Ethyl will therefore be written before methyl. The location of each one of the substituents must also be included in the name. Remember that numbers and letters are separated by a hyphen. The name of this compound is 4-ethyl-4-methyl-heptane.